How are you doing everyone? My name is Ryan, this is Ade and welcome to another edition of Box Talk. With the aftermath of David Hay pulling out the fight with Tyson Fury, don't worry fight fans, we still got a fight Saturday night. Superman, Adonis Stevenson versus former champion Tavoros Cloud. Ade, break the fight down. Good fight. It's a good fight. It's, it's almost a fight that has more meaning than being a great fight in terms of what's next. Obviously, Tony Bellew wants Stevenson next, that's pretty yeah. much signed if Stevenson beats Cloud. Um, you know, but at the same time, as, as much as Tony Bellew wants Stevenson, let's be honest, HBO Showtime, so they want they want to see Kovalev versus Stevenson. That's more of a bigger seller for them. Yeah. So it's a tough one. Um, Cloud's a good boxer. Cloud's a good boxer. He's not. He might not. He's not as good as you know a Dawson or a Hopkins. Don't get me wrong in that weight division, but he's definitely just below them. I think he probably of the other light heavies, he's probably the best boxer for me. Um, I'm still not convinced of Stevenson. Um, I don't know what it is when someone blows people out in the first minutes and two minutes I still want to see what happens when they go five, six, seven, eight rounds Stevenson's been down before he's lost as well it's almost like Deontay Wilder thing mm -hmm. where everyone's like okay what happens when someone actually stands up to Deontay Wilder's punches yeah. what can Deontay Wilder do after that and that's my question with Stevenson still if he comes up against a good boxer that doesn't try and stand in front of him like what Dawson did what happens I think we could have a shot on Saturday see I'm on the other side of the country on this one um, I agree with you I think Cloud's a very good fighter I think he's um more than capable to win the fight. Yeah. But I'm not sure where his mind is in this fight right now, you know. It's typical Don King issues. Yeah. He's been inactive. Yeah. He's got promotional problems, had issues with Don King, had me fighting re re regular. He had his last fight before Hopkins, he fought um, Gabriel Campello. Yeah. And that was a controversial decision, it was a tough fight. Tough fight. For then he lost the title to Hopkins, and now he's coming in against a big puncher. This week he missed the conference call. Is that a good side or a bad side? Is he focused on the fight and skip the conference call, or is he just not with it? There's something about Cloud, whereas um, when he was coming up, you fought the passion, you fought the hunger. Mm. The past two, three fights, the hunger's not been there. It's not, but if anything, if any, if you need a fight to get your hunger back, it's this one. The light heavyweight division now was stale last year, and sorry, was stale for the last two, three years. You had the same kind of fights: Hopkins, Cloud, Dawson. We you know we. It's now no longer that. Tony Bellew's chucked his name in. Boutet's trying to say he wants to go up and fight. Pascal's waiting to see who he fights Kovalev's next. in there. Kovalev is definitely there in now, and we're obviously waiting to see what happens with Nathan Cleverly. So where we had. Two or three fighters fighting each other, we've now got eight or nine that can yeah. easily, arguably match up against each other as well. Yeah. And then there's other guys in the 160 division that might might moving out of that division. Yeah. I talk about Andre Ward. You know, where does he go? He's got, you know, he's fighting um, I think in November. Yeah. Um when he said the 168, everyone says he's really big for that weight. So there's a lot of fights now. Like, See, yeah, that was a good that's a good point because when Andre Ward beat Chad Dawson, they were saying, well, where does Ward go now? Yeah. Because Dawson was the king of that head, everyone thought he was gonna stay the king after he beat Hopkins. With um, Superman taking out Chad Dawson, mm. it makes Ward coming up much more appealing. Yeah. But you're right with the fact that there's a lot of good fighters in that division now and they're all mixing up. and they, mixing they, up. they want to mix it up and everything. But I think this fight kind of sets the, the, the standard right now. Mm. Where you could say, okay, even though Cloud has lost his last two fights, yeah. he's been fighting at a high level. Yeah. Um, Superman, Adonis Stevenson, definitely... Fighting good, came in from, from the 168, coming on for Chad Dawson, who was number one, officially number one at light heavyweight. So you can't really argue who's the number one in the division. I think if Stevenson wins, you get Stevenson, you get Hopkins, and then you sort of argue who's the third. Kovalev? That's, 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 that's a tough one. You're right. Um, it's almost a, a fight between uh, uh, Cloud, who's probably six or seven in terms of the rankings light heavies, and Stevenson. Some people are going to argue he's number one. I don't think he's number one. I think Hopkins has proven to me. He's number one. So Hopkins still to me is number one. So Stevenson is probably number two, three. Um, I really want Stevenson to win because I want to see a Bellew fight. I, I know everyone's gonna say oh, he'll bomb out Bellew. Not many people bomb yeah. out Bellew. Yeah. Uh, that's but, not, but, it'll be a good fight. Bellew's got a good chin. Bellew's got a good, good chin. chin, and Bellew comes to fight as yeah. well. Um, I just think it opens it up a bit more if Tavares Cloud wins. I think it opens up the division a bit more in terms of who, who matches up with who. Yeah, you're right. I reckon if, if the World Cloud wins, it makes everyone division on the division on the at an even part. That's what I'm saying. Every fight is makeable and everyone will have a mix of the match or anything. You know, sometimes losses make a division. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Having one defining undisputed champion kind of kills the division where everyone wants to avoid and this and that. And again, Adonis Stevenson's got kind of hype with his punch power and they say he could box and he could this and he could that. Take him out makes a big statement. Makes a massive statement. And like you say, and when you get one person in the division, Almost like an Andre Ward type person that's running the division. If you look at what Andre Ward is now, for example, we're talking about a guy that's pound for pound number two. You know, most people, if Mayweather gets inactive like he normally does, but having pound for pound number one, he was, in most people's eyes, that person. Um, super middleweight champion. 
he can't get a fight. <laughs> For love yeah. no money, he can't get a fight. Froch has moved on, uh, Kessler's moved on, they all seem to be making their money without Ward. And I think that's what their light heavyweight division doesn't want. It doesn't want that one ruler. Yeah. It, w- it wants everyone on the even playing field, so there's no money, there's no negotiating problems, yeah. and everyone's happy to take their own cut. Yeah. And I think that's what we've got right now in the light heavyweight division. Yeah. Take out Hopkins, take out, take out Hopkins, most of the light heavyweights now. It was an old division before. You had Tarver, yeah. then Josh Young, it's an old division. Now you've kind of got a younger division, yeah. a fresher division. These are guys that are going to be around for a while. Yeah. So that's it. a loss wouldn't, in theory, hurt anyone as long as the fights are competitive and good. This is it. I think that's why it's probably hurt cleverly a lot more than anyone else. Yeah. When he lost, it wasn't competitive. Yeah. He was the champion. Yeah. He was on home soil. Mm. And he lost to a guy that's really not fought anyone before that. Yeah. I'm not, that's not taking any way, anything away from Kovalev's performance, but you almost got kind of to question cleverly a lot more yeah. than Co- I Co- Kovalev was up and coming. The guy was going to be proven to see if he was world class. Yeah. Cleverly was perceived as world class. And... I'm not saying he's not world class, but he weren't the person that people thought he was. But now, I mean, it, again, it could be a blessing in disguise for Cleverly. Obviously, we're not talking about Cleverly here, but we're talking about the light heavyweight division. It could be a disguise for Cleverly in the sense that Frank Warren has to make these matchups now. Yeah. You know what I mean? He has to make the matchups. And maybe Cleverly has to go away and fight. He's got some good fights in America. Go and fight in America. As, as with Cloud, Cloud's getting a title shot after a loss to Hopkins. Yeah. Say Cloud wins and you put him with Cleverly. Where do you, where do you, where do you run that fight? It could be, it could be quite explosive. It's the kind of fight. It's the kind of fight cleverly needs. Um, Cloud can get lazy sometimes. This is it. It's the kind of, and cleverly, you know, unless he gets hurt, we'll, we'll go twelve rounds. He's a fit kid. We'll go twelve rounds. It's the fight he needs. Bellew, even before the loss, mm. is weird because cleverly was world champion. But I always said in my eyes, in terms of who bellew has been fighting, he's been fighting better opposition. And I thought he is a better boxer than cleverly, mm. even though he lost to cleverly. I think he, since the loss to cleverly. It's almost like um, what's happened with um, James Aguilar. He, he, you know, he lost yeah. to um, Groves. Groves and he's kind of gone down and, and Groves has gone up. Similar to that one, similar but opposite. I think Bellew has gone up and Cleverly has gone down. I would love to see Cloud versus Cleverly. Just kind of see what happens there. It's almost like a, a loser takes, uh, a loser, a winner takes all situation. Okay, so, yeah. okay. so how are you calling the fight? What you, what, what's your prediction? Do you think Superman takes him out? takes it to points, or do you think Cloud could, in a sense, pull the upset? I think, I think Cloud gets the upset, and mm. I don't think it's as big, a, a big an upset as you all think. Mm. Like I said, Stevenson, mm. it's just come up, he's, he's just come up from 168, he was a big 168 guy, we know that. He's just come up from 168, we didn't really get to see if he was a good boxer because of what happened with Dawson. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, Cloud's a proven boxer in that light heavyweight division. Yeah, he's at a, he's at a loss to Hopkins, no shame in that yeah, at all, you know what I mean? That is death row right, right. there. Um, so I think Cloud pulls the upset and takes it by decision. I'm going to go on the other side. I think as Dominic Stevenson will take the fight and I'm trying to take most people by a late stoppage and that's what I'm thinking because I'm not sure where Cloud's head is right now. But I'm just concerned that if Cloud did win mm-hmm. and with Duncan's recent history with not getting his fights fights and anything, if he did win, it could steal the division. And I, I want Stevenson to win strictly to keep the division alive, not okay. for it to dry out. Okay. Guys, what do you think? Who wins? Leave your comments below. Um, does the division need Cloud to win so that everyone, as you say, is on an even path? Or do we need do we need a recognised number one light heavyweight champion, which I think Adonis Stevenson will be if he beats Cloud? Leave your comments below or email us at boxtalk at hotmail.co.uk. And guys, thanks for tuning in for another video of Box Talk.